Hi guys, today we're going to go through uh, creating workplace safety apps. Um, so I have a template here for work workplace safety inspection. I just typed workplace here. Uh, you could also type inspection to find the same template. And here is just a quick run through of the features. You can create inspections with your mobile device, capture accurate GPS locations, inspect working environment, including surrounding appliances, uh, medical service, environment control, uh, fire protection, and more. Add photos, uh, access their saved reports and edit them, upload completed inspections to cloud drives and print, um, and the app works online and offline. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Select to continue. We're just going to use the default color scheme. So just a brief run through of the Express Editor um, widgets are basically these tabs here on the bottom. Um, settings, that's where you can name the app, change the visual style, and access uh, information pertaining to whether or not it was published and how many users have been invited to the app. Help, uh, we'll give you links to um, our forum, live chat, uh, the ability to ask questions, um, and some video tutorials. You can also look at pricing, etc. So um, we're going to take a look at the built-in widgets. So we have reports, which includes the inspection form. So that's the page we're on now. There's an RSS feed where you can put in a custom link and have it uh, provide information relevant to your industry. Notifications, um, this is where users can view notifications and administrators can send them. And of course a logout tab uh, for logged in users to log out. So um, we're going to focus on the reports today. We're going to go in and edit the forms. We're just going to click edit form. And as you can see there's a number of pages here. So each tab is an independent page in the app. So um, by default this has 13 different pages. And we'll just take a look at some of the default things that are here. Um, so the first page of the inspection form includes facility, inspector, uh, the date, address, uh, general comments. So uh, then we have walking, working, services, uh, so aisles, passageways clear, marked as appropriate, um, stairs, ladders, etc., where you can just en enter uh, in comments. And these are all just drop-down menus that have answers such as OK, corrective action necessary, uh, deficient, or um, not applicable. And we'll just kind of take a brief look at the rest of these. So this is all just pretty uh, basic and general stuff here. So um, what we're going to do, we're just going to add a uh, quick new page here um, just to show how to create a form. So um, something that that isn't in here is uh, safety equipment. So. so say you wanted to do a quick audit of, uh, you know, whether or not employees are um, have or are using uh, the appropriate safety equipment. So um, we're going to name this employee safety equipment, just the name of the tab here. And uh, we're going to add a text label just to um, add some static text to this form here. And we're just going to put um, employee safety equipment. First, employee safety audit. Let's do that. And we can add a section break. I'm going to put a line below that. And we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start off with employee name. So we have a pre-built name field. And we can just change that into employee name. And I'm going to remove the instruction text. Instruction text is this black text on the bottom here. Placeholders, the grayed out text that shows inside of the field itself. So we're just going to it's kind of redundant, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove the instruction text. And we're going to assume that all employees have a badge number. So we're going to go ahead and just add a regular text number field. We're going to put in badge number. And just a quick note here. Um, so title is what it's going to display here. Um, field name is how it displays on the end report. So I typically make them the same. It just makes it a little easier. 
um, to organize and understand the information as it gets translated to, you know, a PDF or a um, Excel document, etc. And anytime you make changes, you want to hit apply to make sure that those changes are applied to the form. All right, um, and we're just going to say, um, you know, we'll add a text field for location, um, you know, for like building one, building two, or actually, you know, what we'll do, we'll actually make this a drop down. So we'll say um, there's three buildings here, so we're just going to do building one. Two and three. You could easily do that with like workstations or um, you know anything like that. And we're going to divide on this the next part of the form as well. So we're just going to add a section break there. Just basically creates a horizontal line. Now, um, so we're going to do some multiple choice type questions here, um, which are really just going to be a yes or no. Um, so you could either use a checkbox, a radio button or um, a drop down so we'll do one of each just to kind of show you how it how each one works so um, we'll start with the radio button here so um, we're going to ask whether they're um, whether they have protective eyewear and we're just going to apply that there now, um, this would basically just be a yes or no. If it's checked, it's yes. If it's unchecked, it's no. Um, so we're going to do hearing protection. And then for this one, we'll do steel-toed shoes. And we're just going to do a yes or no. And we'll go ahead and apply that. So um, it's pretty pretty simple here. Um, each one of these pre-built fields on the left too, you'll see that if you hover over it with the cursor, it'll show you, um, you know, a brief description of what each field does. Then we're going to we'll just add one more multiple choice here. So we'll do a radio button. We'll ask if it's satisfactory. And we're going to do yes or no again. Oh. Sorry, I made a mistake and accidentally deleted that. We'll start over. Apply that there, and we're going to add a paragraph field so we can type in corrective action. And, um, so that's how you create a simple form here, and then we're just going to we're gonna click exit. It's going to ask if you want to save. Of course, we're going to hit yes. Um, you can always hit the save button here to save as well. I recommend it's, um, you know, saving frequently if you're going to be working on it for a while just to make sure that um, nothing gets lost. All right. So now that we've added to that, we're going to show um, how to add a new tab here. So we're going to do new widgets. So um, we recently converted all our tabs to, to widgets. We have a new type of menu. It's called a hamburger menu. Uh, it's basically just three lines. That it resembles a hamburger, so um, hence the name. Um, you'll see what it looks like when we go ahead and test this out on the device. So. Um, 
we're going to go ahead and add a new widget. And what we want to do, we're going to use PDF forms to show um, some MSDS sheets, material safety data sheets. So uh, I'm just going to type PDF in the search bar. As you can see, there's some different ones. It's going to be a library of documents. So we're going to go PDF library. And we're going to go ahead and add that widget. Now here, um, so we're going to change the name of this to MSDS library. Now um, here, you can upload a spreadsheet. So if you click download sample, it'll give you a sample. Um, which I'll, I'll just show you what it looks like. So it's just two fields, um, a header and then um, you know a link that contains the PDF document. We're going to actually just go ahead and close that. We're going to upload a file. So I've already created one here. Um, it's just got three choices, but um, we'll see this once we go ahead and take a look at the app on a device. So we're just going to hit OK now that I've uploaded that. And then we're going to go ahead and save and run on device. I was going to keep the default name on this and um, you know, click OK. And I've got a device here and a way to go ahead and display this to you. So I just need to connect. And we're just going to use the Snappy Preview app today to take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this list. And the one on the top is going to be the most recent one. So so here's, here's the app. Um, you see the different tabs that we have laid out on the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and look at this new inspection. And as you can see, these are um, you know, just the basic sheets that were put in here uh, to begin with. So if we scroll, um, you just basically swipe from right to left and it'll go to the next page. But we have 14 total pages. So um, these are all just drop down menus where you can choose an answer. And we'll go through to the end to the one that we created. So employee safety audit, this is that form that we just made. So we have the employee name. Badge numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Simple. And we'll say they're in building two. And we're going to say that, yes, they were wearing protective eyewear. Yes, they had hearing protection. Um, still to choose. We have a yes or no. We're going to put no. And I actually there left an extra radio button in there by mistake, but we're going to do satisfactory. Um, so we have satisfactory yes or no. So we're going to put no. And we'll just put a note here that an employee was sent home and must return. with proper shoes. I hope we've written warning. And we'll just hit save and send. That's going to tell me not all mandatory fields are filled out, so I'll put facility one. I'm just going to fill out these mandatory fields so you can see the reporting, how it works in the end. So um, you'll know a field's mandatory if it's highlighted in red. For example, here. Um, so you have to put an email address in there. it done. And now that we're, uh, we're at the end, we're going to save and send. And you'll see that uh, it's in the process here. So your inspection was successfully saved. Now it's going to go ahead and pull it up. So um, here you'll see the different, um, you know, fields. Some of them weren't filled out. So of course, there's no answers in them. But 
Um, just basically lays it out vertically. And you'll see uh, the notes that we made there. That's it. And then you can share the report if you'd like. Um, there's the share option, and you can print, uh, share via message, mail, etc. So, um, so that's it. That's um, just kind of a quick run through of how easy it is to uh, customize a form like this. Let's take a look. Um, if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. All right. So I don't see or uh, see any questions or hear anyone chiming in. So. Um, you know, this uh, recording will be available on our website. If you um, were to go to our resources tab under, oops, sorry, under webinars here, um, we have a recorded version of each of the webinars that we do every week. So uh, feel free to, you know, come back and watch and uh, let us know if you have any questions. So um, thank you for attending today, and I hope you have a great day.